here somewhere before. Could be. I've been pretty near every place. Maybe that's where it was. <laughs> Shoot the door closed, me, quick. Say, what are you, a chiropractor anyway? Right here on your tie. Oh, I'm all oh. beside my hands. Oh, well, what did you do that? Oh, well, well, look, Moon, cut it out, will you? I don't want to have, have any trouble with you. Now, cut it, will you? Come on. Please. Oh, Moon, cut it out. Oh, so you're a big boy now. Look out, Moon. Here comes Duke. Call me tomorrow. I'll send you a new set of plates. How many times have I told you? Watch it, Duke. Let him have it, Duke. Well, well mm -hmm. aren't you the brave one, using your feet when a guy's down? Are you through? No, you big lug. Come on, get up. Shake hands with the lady. Now beat it. Oh, come on, let's get out of here. Myrtle. Okay, folks, show's over. Top out and dance. Uh, say, I I'm sorry. It looks like I made a mistake. You haven't yet, baby. But we'll get around to it. I was right the first time. Gosh, Duke, thanks. You could have been not cold. I was. Hey, wait a minute. I want to talk to you. What's the idea of mixing up with a bruiser like Moon? Are you crazy? Oh, well, I didn't mean to hit him. My hand slipped. Why, well, you dumb stoop? Suppose you busted one of your mitts. Where'd I be? Oh, gee, I wouldn't put you on a spot for anything. Yeah, well, get back to massaging that piano. Every time the music stops, it costs the boss $50, and I promised him we'd beat last night's take. Uh, sure. Okay, thanks. Okay, Paderewski. Glass of water, please. Is that all you want? Yeah. Coke? No Coke. Two Cokes with lots of ice. Coming up. I said no Coke. All right, baby, anything you want. Nothing's too good for you. That's just what I want from you, nothing. Hey, am I busting in here? You got a gentleman friend? Nope. Well, what are we waiting for? A gentleman. <laughs> Say, are you sore about that crack I made? First, I have to see something worth getting sore about. Oh, forget it, I was only fun. Well, hanging around you wouldn't give me laugh wrinkles. Here you are. Two coats. I told you no. All right, all 
right, I'll take it. Atta a girl, relax. You can be human if you try. Hey, you want to dance? No dance. Don't you waltz? Certainly I waltz. Well, maybe it's the music. We can always change that. The music's swell. There you are. Hey, wait a minute. This one's on me. Here's a quarter, Clara. Don't you think you better save that for a rainy day? You might want to crawl under it. Hey, Curly Locks. This belong to you? Now, let me get this straight. You're here by yourself, and you don't want to talk, and you don't want to dance. That's right. I just dropped in to kill time. I'm dropping out again for the same reason. That is, if you don't mind. No, no, I don't mind. I'm going the same way myself. Which way? Anyway, you happen to be gone. That's just the way I'm not going. Hello, Dookie. I've moved. I'll look you up sometime. How you doing there, Duke? In there pitching. Hello, Duke. Why don't you call me anymore? I wrenched my dial finger. <laughs> More silly dames around here. Too bad to disappoint them. Ah, the worse you treat them, the better they like it. I'll bet you figured that out all by yourself. Don't take a genius to figure that out. Hey, you gonna be around here for a while? Why, genius? I thought you might drop in tomorrow night. We got a swell new act coming in. The blues singer, Venus. She had them falling all over each other in New York. No kidding. Straight from New York. I'm not kidding. What do you say? I'll fix you up with a pass. I'm the manager here. Well, if I'd known you were the manager... Don't let it throw you. I don't trade on that. Say, I didn't catch your name. I didn't throw it. Thanks, Mr. Uh, McKay, Duke McKay. McKay, I'll be here. Positively. Here we go. Oh, Little Joe from. Oh, you'll never make that one, son. You'll never make that one. Oh, seven. Tuffy, you're a dice, Duke. All right, boys. Five bucks. Who's got it? I'll take two. I'll take a buck. I'll come. Come on, boys. Be there. Oh. Lucky seven. Ten bucks. Let her ride. Ten. You sold it down heavy tonight, Duke. Got to work fast. We're putting the dice to bed at three. Going soft, Duke? No, I got to look my best tomorrow. Get a little snooze. For what? To greet the new Venus, Duke. But I still got enough time to nick you for your week's salary. Come on, who's got it? I'll take five. Give me three. I'll take two. How are you doing, Duke? Oh, I'm hot tonight. Come on, do it for Papa. Little Joe from Kokomo. Five to eight, you don't make it. <laughs> Come on, Joe, get in on this. Hey, lay off, Joe. You know he's saving his rocks. Come on, get hot. Four. Four's my point. It's my lucky night, boys. Baby needs new shoes. Hook him on. Here we go. Six on. Five on. Five on. Five on. Five on. Come on, Jim. Roll him out. Read him and wait. Come on. Come on. My point. I'll shoot ten. Who's got a cup Hello. I'll Hello, look, there's a crap game across the hall. I want it stopped. I'm trying to get some sleep. Hey, you miss, boy. No more for you. Hey, you miss a dollar. Sorry, baby, not tonight. I'm busy. Well, what do you want? Hello, Mr. McKay. This is not baby. It's the night clerk. The lady in room 12 is complaining about loud voices. Loud voices? What does she want for nothing? A choir? These dizzy dames. Who's got the dice? Look, mister, it's two o'clock and that game's been going on for hours. I'm sorry, madam. I spoke to Mr. McKay. Oh, Mr. McKay. Well, I wouldn't think of disturbing Mr. McKay. Forty bucks. Let her ride. I'm thirsty. The whole 40 bucks? Put up or shut up. Me for a sandwich. Are you crazy, Duke? What's the matter? You losing your nerve? I'll take your bet. Hello, Curly Locks. I didn't know you were staying at this hotel. Hey, boys, this is Curly Locks. Hi. 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 What's the matter? We wake you up? No, I'm just sleepwalking. You walk to the right place. <laughs> well, anybody here going to cover that dough? I said I will. He's shooting 40 bucks. What a bunch of pikers. Hey, how much you got on you? A hundred bucks. A hundred bucks? Hey, Joe, you got paid tonight. Lend me 40 bucks, will you? Oh, sure, Duke. Thanks. Well, where is it? There it is. Smell the mint? Go on, shoot the dice for the hundred. Come on, lucky seven. Do it for Papa! Boxcar. Uh-oh. What a coincidence. Twelve for the lady in twelve. Hey, wait a minute. Are you the dame that was complaining? Yeah, I got the room across the hall with the sound effects. Oh, so you couldn't sleep, eh? No, you see, uh, I've got insomnia. I was counting sheep and the noise scared them away. But I can sleep now. Good night, gentlemen. Oh, uh, Mr. McKay, don't forget about that pass tomorrow night. You can leave it for me at the desk. Oh, yeah? Yeah. The name's Lily Brown. Venus to you. 
Venus. Oh, that's more on you, Duke. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'll fix her up at a pass, all right, right on the kisser. Good morning, Mr. Brooks. Good morning. Will you have a table? And how are you this bright morning? I'm fine, thanks. Oh, uh, Ada's at the counter this morning, isn't she? Yes, she is. I, I always like to have Ada. She's so courteous. Yes, you don't have to look twice at Ada to see that she's different. Oh, uh, Ada, breakfast for Mr. Brooks. Coming, Mr. Newmar. Go on a couple two minute eggs, will you? Coming up. Good morning, Mr. Brooks. Oh, hello. Uh, you kept some crooked, Ada. You look awful nice and fresh and nice. More than usual? No, about the same. I mean, you always do. Your complexion's so fresh and... Well, I, I guess it takes more than a couple of weeks for my country cheeks to wear off. Gosh, have you been here that long? <laughs> Seems like yesterday since the first time you waited on me. Uh-huh. You had soft-boiled eggs and rye toast. Oh, I almost forgot marmalade. <laughs> oh, I didn't think you'd remember. Oh, why wouldn't I, Mr. Brooks? You're so polite. Not like the freshies who come in here. Why wouldn't I? Ada, you're going to the movies with me this afternoon, aren't you? Remember you said that... Well, I don't go out much with men. But to the movies, and with you, you being so refined, I guess it'll be all right. Get your usual now, Mr. Brooks. Coffee shop. Yes. Yes, I'll send it right up. Oh, good morning, Mr. McKay. Can I show you the table? Thanks, but I'm not nearsighted. Hello, Paderewski. Huh? Oh, hello, Duke. Well, quite a piece of break of rank. How long you been here? Hate it? Oh, she's been here a couple of weeks. And me being exclusive, eating in my room. <laughs> hey, what are you holding out on me for, Joe? <laughs> May I present Mr. McKay? How do you do? Can I take your order? We'll arrange it sometime. Oh, but Duke, listen. I... Fix her up with the pass in the dance hall. But I already have. This is the tray for Miss Brown in room 12, Ada. Call the bellboy. Here, I'll handle that. But Mr. McKay, that's for Miss Brown. Do you know her? A hundred bucks worth. Your breakfast, miss? Put the tuna anywhere. I'm busy. How many lumps of sugar, miss? No sugar. No sugar. Cream? No cream. No cream. A quarter? What a cheapskate. Oh. Well, of all the... Hey, look at this. 
Millionaire is the lopes with poor man. <laughs> poor man is right. Any guy who'd sell his liberty Listen, short... Listen, you nervy windbag. Get out of here before I punch you with this coffee pot. Hey, now, I wouldn't do that. Look, I'm a guest here. You were a guest in my room last night, remember? Did I treat you like this? No, I let you clean me out. Let me? How do you like that? Say, you're all right in daylight, too. I had laid 50 to 1 against it, but you are. You're okay, babe. Now, get out of here. Well, thank you. Say, are you chewing gum? What? Are you chewing gum? What's it to you what I'm chewing? A well, pocket. I don't like it. It makes a dame look cheap. Oh. Hey, now look, Lily. There's no reason why you and I oh. can't get... Say, you know, when I first looked at you last night, something happened. Sparks started flying. Now, maybe that doesn't mean anything to you, but for me, ha-ha, <laughs> that's news. Can't be your looks, because I could pick 50 dames that'd stack up with you. And for one thing, your nose is too short. No, I guess it's something else. Could be your luck of dice, could be. But I don't think that's it. Anyway, it's got me guessing. And what's more, I want to know the answer. But what's more important, will it happen again? Listen, you diamond studded heel. Here's something you'd better get and get straight. I came down here for one thing only, to work. And all I want to see of you is on Saturday night when you hand me my paycheck. Aside from that, all you are to me is a cheap, oversized pair of pants. I wouldn't have you if I won you on a punch board. The free trip to Honolulu. And a beach boy thrown in. A home girl. Like to run over a couple of numbers? Yes, but if you're busy... Oh, no, I'd be delighted. What was that you were just playing? Oh, just something of my own I've been working on. What do you call it? The giant swing. Classical, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it's sort of. I guess you might call it a rhapsody. What's it about? Well, it's just kind of an impression. I, I've taken all the things around here. You know, funny sounds and noises and people that come here every night and <sighs> lovers and their fights and struggles. It's, it's sort of mixed up. I can't just explain it. I don't know very much about that sort of thing, but parts of it sure get under your skin. Those chords that sound off key and discords and they're wrong with your left hand. Would you play that part for me? finished it yet. Keep plugging, Joe. You'll get somewhere. Do you really think so? You bet I do. Oh, thanks. Do you want to try a number now? Yeah. Put this one down half a tone for me, will you? Find 
there's danger in your eyes. The thrill is new. I've been blind, but now I realize what love can do. I feel it everywhere. So whisper, you'll be mine tonight. Boy, do I go for Venus. I'd like to have that sing you to sleep. The thrill is new. I realize what love can do. I feel it everywhere. So whisper, you'll be mine. I have to dance with a football player, I'm going to bring my own whistle. Tough going, huh? Duke, come and dance this one with me. Hello, Melvie. You look pretty nifty tonight. What's that, a veil you're wearing or your eyelashes combed oh, down? Oh, quit your kidding. Come on. No, honey, I can't. Come on, Duke, you promise. You're a regular Fred Astaire. Hoping he'd get his mind on his feet. The guy always thinks the ticket includes a massage. Yeah, someday I'm gonna get my torso read by a fingerprint expert. Oh, boy, does that feel good. I know just how you kids feel. I served three years at your job before I learned to use my tonsils instead of my feet. Let's work up a whistling act. Thank you. See you later, honey. Hiya, Curly Locks. You still here? Yeah, I've been waiting for you. You're a little mixed up, aren't you? I thought the women always waited for you. Uh, I had that coming to me. Say, uh, what's all this humble pie business? I had the big head, and I want to thank you for putting me wise, that's all. I still don't get it. Well, I treated you like I've always treated every other dame, and I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm the level. You know, you get to thinking around here that every skirt's a carbon copy. I should have known you were different. And say, can you sing? Oh, baby, you're great. Careful, I might ask for a raise. Well, you're not that great. <laughs> can I give you a lift home? You mean this uh, fancy chariot belongs to you? You said it, sister, from bumper to bumper. Mmm. Well, you must be doing all right. Need a little cubby of tin you've got here. Come on, get in. No, I, I don't think so. I was hoping you'd give me a clean bill of health and let me start in again from the beginning. Well, I don't blame you. Okay. I'm no piker. Every driver and escort, Miss Brown. Don't you save anything for a rainy day? Yeah, I got a raincoat for that. <laughs> oh, it's nice to get away from that mob of swingers. Get out in the country. I love the country. Yeah, me too. Frogs croaking and crickets. That's real music. Swell, isn't it? <laughs> you know, that's the trouble with us. We're too much alike. Crazy and hot-headed. But that's the way we are. Lots of people are like that. I want to throw bricks at each other the moment they meet. Yeah, and the first thing you know, they're like that. Ha, <laughs> 
<laughs> so you're different from the rest, huh? Why, you double-crossing, half-baked Casanova. <laughs> you can't fool old Doc McKay. You're all alike. <laughs> Why, you low-down, chiseled hyena. I should have expected something like this from you. Of all the cheap, contemptible tricks. Just to satisfy that swelled head of yours, just to prove you're still top dog. <laughs> hey, wait a minute! You want a lift, lady? Oh, come on, get in here. You can't hoof it. It's 10 miles to town and it's nearly 2 o'clock. What are you mad about? Oh, don't be a chump. Get in here. Okay, kid. Maybe a nice long walk will do you good. Big hunk of beef. No good gorilla. I would fall for a line like that. Come all the way from New York to be taken in by a small town yokel. Ouch! Oh! Search me right. Ought to have my head examined. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was a friend of mine. My mistake. Can I give you a lift? No, thanks. It's a long way to town. So what? So hop in. Look, mister, I'm walking for my health. Look, you're catching cold and you're limping. Well, it's my cold and my limp. Now, on your way, buddy. Say, what's the trouble? I had a rat in my car. I get it. No rat's going to make a piece of cheese out of you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you kill me from head to foot. Now, scram. Nah, I don't think it's really safe. I better drive along with you. Well, I wish there was a cop somewhere around. All right, all right. I'll drive you to a police station. Oh. What's the matter? Hurt yourself? No. Oh, don't you think you better get in? Oh, all right. Holy smoke. Now maybe you can keep your hands on the wheel. Sure, sure, but you don't have to worry about that. My feet hurt, I'm sleepy, and I just want to go home. Well, personally, I'm a square shooter. With me, it's got to be mutual. Who are you, Sir Galahad? Mm-mm. Max Brandon. What's your name? Lily Brown. Venus is my billing, my stage name. No. Yes. You on the stage? Well, I, I sing in a dance hall. You do? Gosh, I might have known you did something glamorous like that. My billing is <laughs> ladies' lingerie. Oh, so that's your come on. No, no. Say, you're pretty cute. Can't you step on I'm dying? Sure. I was just trying to make it last, you know, like eating ice cream with a small spoon. But here's a large spoon. I want to get home. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not. <sighs> yeah, and get this, boss. We break from the kiss and I says to her, so you're different from the other dames. What does she do then? She gets sore and climbs out of the car and I try to coax her back in, she takes her shoe off and heaves it at me. <laughs> not so funny. <laughs> I met her whoop it back to town. <laughs> That's something new for you, eh, Duke? Maybe a couple of good-sized blisters will tame her down. <laughs> Who is it? It's Venus. I'd like to speak to you, Mr. McKay. Oh, oh. I'm getting out. This is your party. Come in. 
Why, hello. Say, you're blazing, Curly Locks. Walking must agree with you. Listen, Rancid, I want to tell you something. Now, wait a minute. Before you start blowing off steam, let me tell you something. All you can say to me is goodbye. I'm quitting at the end of the week. Oh, you're quitting. You heard me. Is that so? <laughs> Have you by any chance read your contract, Miss Brown? The party of the first part, that's me, can extend the services of the party of the second part, <laughs> that's you, from month to month by a 10% increase in salary, which I intend to do. Perhaps indefinitely, who knows? Oh, no, you can't get away with that. Why well, I wouldn't stay here if you gave me a lead in the United States Mint. You happen to be a member of the Variety Artists Guild, Miss Brown. If you regard this contract as a scrap of paper to put across next to your name, that'll keep you on the bread line for the rest of your life. Or maybe you like bread. Why, you wouldn't dare to... Only as a matter of principle. Principle? You've got as much as a... Now, you'll be here tonight and sing like a good little girl, huh? Oh, now, now look, Mr. McKay. You don't like me and, and I don't like you. Well, you can get a dozen singers to take my place here. Why don't you be a good sport and let me go, huh? You heard me. I'm busy. Oh, of all the no good cheap... Oh, damn! And remember, no tricks. The contract calls for an adequate performance. And if you're a nice girl, you can have your shoe. The next time you get it, it's going to have my foot inside. empty space when you are not in my embrace oh there's a lull in my life the moment that you go away there is no night there is no day The world stops turning Everything stops but that flame in my heart That keeps burning, burning Oh, there's a lull in my life No matter how I may pretend crazy idea that that you were singing that song to me were you why not <laughs> lily i i'm a changed man since i met you Why, well, this morning i woke up whistling and, and oh, max eat your sandwich i'm not hungry <laughs> i'm sorry i had to leave you alone well, i'm all right don't worry about me I was afraid someone might come up and ask you to dance. You don't think I accept intentions from other men when I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> Must be the low lights and the music. Makes a fella feel romantic, all right. Anything I can do for you folks? Yeah, but it wouldn't be easy. My name's McKay. I'm the manager in this place. Oh, pleased to meet you. My name's Max Brandon. Ladies lingerie. <laughs> This is Miss Brown, Mr. McKay. Oh, I guess you two know each other. <laughs> yes, we've uh, met. Mr. Brandon owns a large chain of lingerie stores. He's in town to open another shop, as if one more made any difference. Is that so? 
Nice place you got here. Yeah. The sort of thing is rather new to Mr. Brandon. He uh, doesn't go slumming very much. Oh, now, Lily. <laughs> yeah, have a dance on the house. Oh, thanks, but I'm well taken care of in that direction. <laughs> Max, what was it you were saying about the soft lights and the music? Yeah, keep pissing, baby. <laughs> I always like my employees to spread sunshine. I got a little spreading to do myself. Sure you'll be all right here alone, honey? Don't worry about that. The management always takes care of the ladies. Oh, hello, Duke. Hiya, Peanuts. Thanks for bringing her over, Paderewski. Well, she only wants to look on. I'll get back to the stand. I'll keep a beam on her. I'll see you after the next dance, honey. <laughs> Duke, listen. Stop worrying, will you? Oh, Joe. Wasn't that the little girl from the coffee shop? Yes, isn't she, honey? Your pal seems to think so, too. I'm sorry I had to send Joe back to work, honey. Must make you feel kind of lonesome, huh? Oh, I'm not lonesome now, Mr. McKay. Huh? Uh-huh. Oh, I'm not worried about Duke. He's okay. Sure. All wolf and a yard wide. It's a waltz. Would you like to dance? I'd love to. It's a long time since I've been on a dance floor. <laughs> It'll come right back to you. Say something? No, but I could. Your girlfriend's trying to move in on Duke. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> we always seem to be bumping into each other. Yeah, I guess it's my fault. <laughs> I see the age of chiselry isn't dead. Hey, I don't like my artist to chew gum. Park it, will you? Have Joe bring you around again sometime. Huh? Right, Where Joe. Are the... Good night. Good night. Good night. Don't forget Saturday night's a big cash drawing. We'll be here. Good night, Joe. Good night. Hey, Red. Is there a Mr. Brandon here? Mr. Brandon? Is there a Mr. Brandon here? Yes. My name's Brandon. Telephone call for you, sir. Right this way. <laughs> Can't imagine who could be calling me here. Glad that officer. Thank you. Oh, no, no, sir. The private phone in here, sir. Oh, thank you. gentleman I was with. Oh, yes, I remember. The man with the gray hat. He got us things some time ago. Where's your boyfriend? 
That's what I'd like to know. Well, uh, that's a shame. Hey, Red. Did you see that real good-looking, high-powered businessman Lily was with? You know, the one with the big rock on his finger? Oh, him. He got a phone call and tore out of here. He did, huh? Yep. That's tough. Still waiting? He'll be back. Well, good night. Good night. Uh, say, I kind of hate to leave you here like this. I wonder what could have happened to him. I'm sure he didn't leave a message. I don't know. Come on, I'll drive you around. Maybe we can find him. Huh? You mean you want me to run after him? Do I look like that kind? Well, do I? All right, all right. I was only trying to be nice. <laughs> Guy can't even open his mouth around here. Oh, forget it. Come on, I'll take you home. Oh, I, can, I can get home by myself. Look, I know how I stand. I can be a gentleman if it kills me. I'll sit in my corner and you can sit in yours and you don't have to talk, you don't have to do anything. Okay, Duke. Oh, come on. What's so funny? <laughs> At last, the great McKay stubs his toe. What do you mean? Trying to convince myself that you were just another dame. Now you're trying to tell me I'm not? You said it. If you hadn't given me another chance tonight, I'd have come crawling back to you. <laughs> you're terrific. I guess I am soft like all the rest. Thought I could hold out, but... This is the real thing, Curly Lux. Yeah. It's you and me from now on. Who else? Nobody. You mean you're shelving all the rest of those dames? Yep, for you. What about the crap games? Well, they're out, too. <laughs> Afraid you might get awfully bored with just me on the farm. What farm? Oh, that's what I've always planned. A little farm somewhere, some chickens, some cows, lots of livestock. Maybe a couple of my own. Uh, oh, I might have known it. Oh, look, Curly Locks, that's what I came from. There's time enough for a farm when you get creaky in the hinges. Besides, you don't look good in jeans. You're more the silk and satin type. Big mink coat. Uh, just because I run a honky-tonk dance hall now doesn't mean I'm going to stay there. Guys like Billy Rose did it, so can I. Now, uh, we're gonna go to New York. I'm gonna set you up in a big apartment with hot and cold running butlers. You're gonna have a gown for every expression and enough jewelry to light up Times Square. Are you by chance proposing to me? What do you think? Well, a girl never likes to have the trimmings. Why don't you ask me? You mean you want me to go down on my knees? <laughs> no, no, not that. Just the regular number four proposal. What do you mean, number four? I never proposed in my life. Well, it's about time you got started. Maybe it'll help if you don't look at me. Oh, Lily. Go on, turn around. Oh, Lily. Well, here goes. <laughs> Lily, I'm crazy about you. I think we can make a go of it. We sure know each other well enough. So... What do you say, you and I... <laughs> I'm not very good at this, am I? Oh, yes, you are. Just wiggle your ears and bray. You'll be perfect. You 
swung, Canary. Come back with that car. I'll wring your neck for this. <laughs> oh, I'll strangle her. So help me, I'll strangle her. Oh, did I bite, did I bite. You're late again, Ada. We can't have this. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Newmeyer. But my stocking sprung a run and I had to mend it. Yes, yes, I'll take your word for it. Oh, but I want you to see so you'll believe me. I believe you, I believe you. You won't fire me, Mr. Newmeyer. Fire you? Of course not, child. But Ada, you really ought to get to bed earlier. You know, I feel a fatherly interest in you. Oh, you couldn't do that, Mr. Newmar. You're much too young. Oh. And I'd better go now, Mr. Newmar. It's getting awfully late. Oh, yes, yes, of course, of course. What happened to you last night? I went to the band room, but you'd gone. I went home. I hope you're not angry because Mr. McKay asked me to dance. You said yourself you didn't want to leave me alone. No, forget it. Oh, he did it to make you jealous. Please tell me you'll forgive me. Corn muffins is scarce again. I forgive you. I feel better now. No, Ada. I have some money saved up in the bank. About two thousand. Two thousand? Oh, oh, gee, I'm awful sorry, honestly. Ada, for heaven's sake. Jenny, a towel. I'm awful sorry, Mr. Brooks. Oh, well, uh, get his breakfast. Hurry. It's really my fault. Ada isn't cut out for this kind of work. I hope it's all right. Oh, well, that's fine. Thanks. Please try to be more careful. You see, that's what I mean. You wouldn't have to put up with, with what you're putting up with. Honey, I'll do anything you want. You mean you'd really marry me? The way I love you, I couldn't marry anybody else. Ada? I gotta go now. Get you your usual. Tell Mr. McKay I left the keys in his car and ask him to please stop calling. <laughs> you certainly even things up, Lily. Now I don't mind so much being locked in that closet. <laughs> well, I'm getting out of here as soon as I can. Haven't you found a loophole in that contract yet? There must be some way of getting uh, out. Let me see. The party of the first part agrees to relinquish the things. Oh, I've got to get out of here. I'm, I'm going crazy. Now, wait a minute. I'm waiting. It looks like you're sewed up pretty tight, Lily. Only an act of God, fire, strike, or public enemy can release you. Oh, I wish I knew someone who could promote a first-class earthquake. There is one way out. There is? Oh, it's, it's gorgeous. It's yours. Max, I... I mean it, Lily. It's the only way out. Then let him sue you. He'd have me to contend with. Max, maybe you think I'm old-fashioned, but I've got to love a guy to marry him. My head says yes, but my heart says no. Well, you're honest. Keep it. No strings, just from me to you. No, Max, I, I couldn't take it. There, there are lots of girls that would jump at the chance to marry you, but I, I just can't take that way out. You'll meet somebody someday and forget all about me, and I'll... Oh, I'll still be here singing my heart out. Taking raps on that, that fat-headed self-opinionated. Well, the only other way out is if the place closes down. Yeah, I, I guess so. But it's not closing down. Not with the business they're doing. Wait a minute. You just gave me an idea. 
You know where that place is getting such a play? Well, it's a cheap place to dance. Music's good. Now you've got it. Have you ever watched the people swarm around Joe Brooks? Oh, I'm not kidding myself. I'm not the attraction there. Joe is. He's the heartbeat of that joint. So what? Well, take away the heart and what have you got? Magnolia. If Joe left... They'd get another attraction. Oh, don't be silly. Guys like Joe don't go on trees. Besides, not for the best buttons they pay off in. I don't get it. You will. I've got a wild idea how I can get out of here and do a Boy Scout deed besides. Come on. I don't know too much about music, Lily, but if you say so, it must be. Well, sure, it's great. It's wasting his time here. Joe, I'm going to send this to my agent. Your agent? Yeah. He knows a lot of big shots in New York. He might get it played by a symphony orchestra. Oh, there are hundreds of composers who've written symphonies trying to get their stuff played. Then you'll be somebody. A great American composer. Big names, too. Not just a piano player in a cheap honky-tonk dance hall. It's not finished yet. It needs smoothing on. Come on, Max. Drive me to the post office, will you? Sure. Okay. Well, all right, if you really think... Well, now, don't worry. Just leave it at the agent, will you? Continental Hotel in Stanton, Pennsylvania. Come on, I done it again. I got the funniest yen, and before I knew it, I was in somebody's arms. You know, Ma, a gentleman on, he took me out in his car, and before. <laughs> What's so funny? Uh, I can't tell you. Yeah? Yeah, she's right here. Long distance calling you. For me? Thanks. Uh, yes, yes, put him on. It's Henry. Henry who? Henry Backer, the agent I sent your music to. Hello. Hello, Lily. I've taken that guy's music to everybody in town. And all the band leaders think it's got something. Oh, I knew it, I knew it! What's the matter? They can't use it. They said it has to be played by a symphony orchestra. Well, Henry, take it to the Philharmonic. That's the catch. I did. And I can't get any symphony orchestra to play it. Oh, I can't get it played. Look, Henry, we've got to do something. The way to put this thing over, Lily, is to organize your own orchestra and play it in New York. Invite the musical set, the critics, all the big conductors. Well, how much will that cost? Well, the salaries of a good-sized orchestra, rehearsal time, the hiring of a hall. Well, I should say at least two or three grand. Are you kidding? So it'll take two or three thousand dollars to put it over. Who's got that kind of money? Oh, look, Henry, there must be some other way. I've got some money saved up. Wait a couple of years. Hmm? I said I have about two thousand dollars in the bank. You're not kidding me. You're on the level. Sure. Uh, uh, Henry, look, look, we can raise the money here. Uh, how much exactly will it take? We'll, we'll get all the information and let me hear from you right away. Okay, thanks a million. Oh, Joe, this is it. You've got to go to New York right away. Oh, I can see you now standing on the platform conducting. The crowd's applauding. Oh, but look, I, I, I couldn't leave Duke. Duke? What's he got to do? Oh, with everything. He brought me here. He picked me up one day when I was playing in a honky tonk and he set me up with a band. That was big of him. Oh, sure, he's a great guy. Sure, sure. But he told you so himself. Oh, you've got him wrong, honest. Yeah, I got oh, him wrong. Oh, he's really a swell guy. That's everything he needs to do. Hey, ask everyone that knows well, him. Well, half of his name is a Listen, you're wasting half a young life making a, a hero out of that cheap show-off. He was really a pal. He'd want you to go. Why, well, sure he'd want me to go. He'd be tickled to death. It's... Well, Listen, this is your big chance, isn't it? Oh, yes, but... No buts about it. I'll go tell Duke 
Mr. Gunn. Sure, sure, I'll tell him. Well, go on and tell him. All oh, right, what's that? Yeah. Duke, the boss has nervous fingers. He wants that dough. He'll get it. But you told him last night you'd have it today. Take a tip from us. Have that money tonight or somebody will find you in a vacant lot with your skull cracked. What's on your mind, kid? Well, Duke, I couldn't help it over here. How much did you lose? No, nothing. Forget it. Yeah, but those fellas sounded like they meant business. The great McKay, he's so smart. A sucker for a pair of dice. But I asked you, how much did you lose? Plenty. I don't know what I'm going to do. Look, I've got some money in the bank. Yeah, I should have been smart like you. Well, how much do you need? Nah, you worked hard to save that door. I'm not going to touch it. Yeah, but who paid me? How else could I have saved it? Well, don't be a sucker like me. Hang on to it. Well, what good is it to me? What good is it if I save it and I can't help out a pal? Well, nah, nothing doing. You'd do the same for me, wouldn't you? Yeah, sure I would. Well, all right, I won't be giving you anything. It'll be a loan. <laughs> what makes you think I'm going to be able to pay it back? <laughs> I'm not worried. If I need it, I'll be right on your neck. Well, get this kid. I'm only borrowing it, understand? Oh, sure. Sure, I'll go get my bank book. Hey, Joe. Um, <laughs> as the man said when he was about to get hanged, this will sure be a lesson for me. <laughs> going to be married, I'd make some plans. I had a decent rag to be married in. I thought the dress you had on the other night was... Well, all right. If you don't want me to buy a new dress. I do. It's just that I don't have the money right now. But you told me... Well, that was yesterday. Duke got into a little jam and I had to help him out. You mean you gave him everything? Everything you had in the bank? Yes, but I get my weekly salary, Ada. We can still be married and... Oh, Duke will pay it back when he gets it. Ada. Am I going to see you at the dance later? Mm, I suppose so. i got to go now. Oh. Ada. Mr. Newmeyer's calling me. Joe. Thousand. Eleven hundred. When am I going to get a chance to win that back? Call the boss any time you got the jack. Thirteen fifty. Yeah, yeah, this is a business office. Don't you ever knock? Duke, I've got to talk to you. 1650. Wait a minute. That one doesn't belong to him. Take it easy, sister. Oh. Come on. You got your money. Now get out and stay out. What's the idea of breaking in here and grabbing that dough? So this is the spot Joe told me about, hmm? You paid them off for the money you took from Joe. How do you like that? He only loaned it to me. Joe was going to use that money to go to New York. Joe going to New York? For years he's worked in that music of his, living in hopes that, that someday it might be heard. Someday he might devote all his time to composing. Do you think he wants to spend the rest of his life in a joint like this playing a hand organ? He's got ambition. When this chance came to go, you had a, you had a gym that works up. Oh, I knew you were 14 carat heel long before you did this, but Joe still doesn't believe it. Are you through? You bet I'm through for good. Now, you listen to me. I've listened to you ever since I've been here, and I haven't heard one word I'll ever want to hear again. Hello. Hello. Where's Ada? Ada? Don't you hear the wedding bell? <laughs> you mean she told you? You ought to see the wedding cake the chef's baking. It's this high. Six layers. <laughs> Look what I bought to put on a top of us. Oh. Isn't it sweet? The bride's a cute little doll like Ada. Say, have you got a fountain pen? Sure. Come on, I'll put some glasses and a mustache and a groom to make them look like Newmeyer. <laughs> Newmeyer? 
some surprise, huh? They just walked out of here like that. Nobody even knew they was gone. Took the bus to Elkton, Maryland, where you can get married without a license. We got some nice fresh baked apples, huh, Juan? No, thanks. You were kind of sweet on it yourself, wasn't you, Jill? Go on, beat it. Hey. I know you hit pretty hard, kid. Now look, Joe, take it from me, you're lucky. She isn't worth it. Hey, Joe. Why didn't you tell me you had a chance to go to New York? Hey, Duke, do you mind letting me off tonight? I don't feel much like playing. Yeah, sure. Okay, kid. Six hundred bucks paid in that car. Sorry, Mr. McKay. The best we can possibly give you is two hundred dollars. I've been in the wrong racket. You don't have to take it. Okay, okay, I'll take it. I'll shoot the works. Come You're on. You're sure taking chances, dude. I'll take five. I'll take two. I'll take three. You're fair. Come right. on, lucky seven. Seven. Oh, oh seven. seven. Let her ride. Twenty for me. Ten here. Five here. A pin. Come on, lucky seven. Come on, seven. I'm not again. Oh, oh shit. Shit. Five 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 five. I'm a hot. Let it ride. Come on, am I faded? Twenty for me. I'll take four. Two pins. Seven come eleven. Do it for Papa. There she is. Come on, come on, cover it, will you? Come on, come on, get it in there. Wait a minute, boys. I want to get in for a buck. Okay, I'll drag a buck. Ninety cents. Uh, I'm ten cents shy. That's all I've got, Duke. How about taking this dance hall stuff for a dime? It may be worth twenty-five hundred of the cash drawing. Yeah, sure. There are only twenty thousand stubs out. All right, go ahead. Come on, come on, baby, do it. Oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, take it easy. Oh, Grab it, will you? You still got a hundred bucks of my dough. I covered all your bets. Okay, give me a hundred. Here's a hundred. That's fifty. Come on, you got seventy bucks? Okay, here's seventy bucks, but take that dance ticket out. All right. Here's ten cents. Come on, go. Be there. Come on, come baby, on, don't fail me. Now, that... Get a nice one too bad. Uh, well, that's everything. I'm jinxed, I tell you. Tough love, Duke. Yeah, I'm good. Let's go to Sam's. I want some beer. Okay, the drinks are on me. Oh, that's a problem. Don't do it. 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 Hey, Limpy. Yeah? Come here, will you? You know, maybe this is the lucky stuff after all. You know, I made that pass right after you put it down, remember? Uh -huh. Now look, me being an employee, I can't get in on the drawing. So you hold this ticket for me, and if it wins, you get 10%. If it wins? Four laterals. How can you lose? That's just what I've been thinking. I'd like to introduce to you a couple of newlyweds that are starting their honeymoon here with us tonight. Mr. and Mrs. Frederick Newmeyer. And now, folks, the moment you've all been waiting for. Hey, Duke. Excuse me? Come on. I got a pocket full of stubs forging my smile on us. Sure, she might burst right out laughing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, step right this way. Don't forget me, Duke. I got you, kid. As you all know, this is the night when $2,500 in cash will be given to the holder of the lucky ticket. About to be determined by this electric fortune machine. The lights go up and down, and the combination of numbers upon which the light stops is the winner. Now, I'm going to ask a young lady in the audience to take charge of the drawing from here on. 
How about you, miss? He means you, honey. Me? Will you step this way, please? Park the gum. Oh. Now you press the button and keep the finger on it till the board gets a good start. Okay, you can let go now. children, but there'll be another cash drawing three months from tonight. Mr. Larkin will please come to the office and collect. <laughs> and now everybody dance. This one's on the house. Lucky step. What are you going to do with it? Be retired? Congratulations, Lucky. You're certainly lucky. Thank you, Laura. Here's two hundred and fifty dollars. Your ten percent. Thanks. Here's your ticket. Here's the rest of it. I want you to rush right back to the hotel and give it to Joe. Joe? Yeah, there's a train leaving for New York at eleven. You got half an hour. Get him on it. And tell him to call me when he gets there. I'll explain everything. But I don't... Stop asking questions. Get going, will you? Space when you are not in my embrace. 
Come on. What's up? Chief wants it. Ah, uh, for the love of Pete, you can't get a good night's nice rest in this joint. Give him a bed. You all right, Luke? Yeah, sure. Did you get Joe on the train okay? Mm-hmm. He's halfway to New York right now. Good. Hey, what do you want with me? My case come up so quick? You're okay. You can go. Go? What's the matter? Ain't I good enough for this high-class joint? You better go before I change my mind. Come on. You got your cab outside? Sure. Drive me to the hotel. What are you doing here? You much? She got you out. She did? How? Put back the money you took. Where'd you get it? To Max. Oh, so that's the setup, huh? It's just like you to think something like that. Yeah, sure. Guys are waving thousand dollar bills around just to create a breeze. Don't you think there are any decent people left? Why, you... You... Hey, wait a minute. Stop the car. Are you hurt? Leave me alone. Oh, look, Lily, if I wasn't so crazy about you, I wouldn't care about other guys giving you dough. Shut up. I'm sorry, honey. Honest, I am. Well, go away. Oh. Come on. You made me break my ankle. Well, doesn't that prove that I love you? Hey, come on, get in. Go home, will you? Should have let you rot in jail. Must be on my mind to fall in love with a guy like you. You're out of your mind. I'm the one to touch my hand. I've been in love with you the first time I saw you. Hey, 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 h